Hi guys! I'm Korean slang teacher Chubby Boy. And it's the third time our class. And how have you been, guys? Homework, here it comes, right? And have you studied and repeat our latest class? I think shut the fuck up was the best sentence, I guess. I got a young girl. Wow, he is a Korean slang rover, right? Shut the fuck up. Agari, yomurora. Yeah, you don't have to say that to my face, right? <laughs> Robot. <laughs> All right, then let's move on to today's learning. I brought four sentences from Lil Wayne, Let It Fly. All right? One word to my guys. She just gets so wet, I slip and slide. Had to get it back to give him five. And by the way, we're gonna make a new reaction video if the new release music video coming out from Lil Wayne. All right? Okay. But one thing I want to say that is I heard from the Tonight Show that he's been skating for four years. That's the only thing I want to say. And anyway, here goes the first sentence. Lies and we advise you not fuck with me and mine. Lies and we advise you not fuck with me and mine. Lies and we advise you not fuck with me and mine. Let's hear that in Korean. What's that? 충고한데 나랑 엮이면 좋대. Oh, uh, it says advice means like letting some people to know, right? Advice means 충고, you know? Okay. 충고. 충고. And fuck, <laughs> fuck with someone is like 엮이면 좋대. 엮이면 좋대 is like fuck with something, right? Let's hear one more time. 충고하는데 나랑 엮이면 좋대. Right? You can say that a lot. You can be really useful, right? Let's move on to second sentence. I'm so behind the front line. I'm so behind the front line. I'm so behind the front line. What's that in Korean? 난좀 쉬었는데도 존나 앞서가네. Oh, all right. I'm gonna explain. So means like money, money, right? And behind means like uh, 쉬었는데. Like you, you kind of take a rest. Front line means like 앞서가네. But we say it like 존나. 존나 is like fucking. Fucking. It's like an adverb. Describe the word. Yeah, we gotta repeat that again, right? Let's say it one more time in Korean. 난좀 쉬었는데도 존나 앞서가네. All right. And here goes the third sentence. You cross the line, then you better know your lines. You cross the line, then you better know your lines. You cross the line, then you better know your lines. Wow. Let's hear that in Korean slang. Boy. 존나 주제는 없네. 네 주제는 알아. Wow. Here goes the explanations. You cross the line means like 존나 주제는 없네. Cross is a 넘네. Something you hop on. You cross means 넘네. You better know your lines. You means 네. Your lines means 주제. And the last goes the 알아 means no. So that goes like you better know your lines. So yeah, that's it, I guess. Let's hear it in Korean. Here it goes. 존나 주제는 없네. 네 주제나 알아. Oh, yeah. It's really common you know, using your normal conversations, right? You motherfucker. Oh, he understands. <laughs> all right, here goes the first sentence, all right? Looking in the mirror trying to figure where my pupils went. Looking in the mirror trying to figure where my pupils went. Looking in the mirror trying to figure where my pupils went. Okay, let's hear it in Korean. Slang. Bye. Ah, 거울 봤는데 꽃을 다 어디 갔냐? Oh, yeah. It's a sentence that he uses a lot in Korean. No, what he does after coming to office, he doesn't always like scrubbing like his pubes and saying that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So here goes the explanation. Looking in the mirror. Ah, 거울 봤는데. Mirror means 거울. Okay. 꽃을. Pube means 꽃을. It's like abbreviation of gochu <laughs> Fuck! What, what am I doing right now? <laughs> All right. Anyway, let's go on. Gochu <laughs> is pubes, right? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure out means like ta odiganya. Ta means like everything. So it's like ta odiganya. Odiganya means like trying to looking for something, like trying to figure out. I don't know. I, I don't think it's right, but I just wrote down uh, what I just heard. So. Uh, I don't know, maybe it could be right or wrong, oh, but skip that, right? Yeah, I see her there again. What Sean said, he's really perfect for saying that. <laughs> ah, 거울 봤는데, 꽃털 다 어디 갔냐? Okay, all right. There's no pain, there's no gain. 
which means you gotta work that hard. I'm gonna give you homework again. Yeah, you gotta check that out. All right, repeat and learning would be our breakthrough, learning in Korea. So there's no halfway, there's no going back and forth. We gotta go straight ahead for breaking through the Korean language, all right? So we gotta call it a day for now. 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다. 다음 시간에 다시 찾아뵙겠습니다. See you guys! Cut that out! Right? <laughs> See you next time if you're alive! <laughs> <laughs>